Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. How are Good you evening, guys? Teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? Good. Good evening. Sorry, uh, that my camera is on. Let me turn it on. And let me see. Just help me out with the name. Just to put your full name, please, guys. Let's put your full name, guys. So it will be working in the attendance list, please. Liliana, do me a favor and place your full name, please. <clears throat> Let's see. Hello, Mabel. Hi, Amelcar. Hello, uh, Fatima. Hello, hello, Carla. Hi, Luis. Hi, Marielos. Hi, Jaritza. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Christian. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Hi, Lisette. Hello, Marta. Hello, Ileana. Welcome to the class, guys, and thank you for joining uh, to this class on time. I really appreciate your time here. And um, first, oh, hello, Alexandra. Hello, Estefania. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Hello, Kevin. Kevin is joining right now. Hello, baby. <laughs> we have a guest today. Hello. <laughs> He's interested to be in the class. It's good. He will learn English so fast because he's listening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Sabrina. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's see. Guys, I will go through the attendance list right now. Let me get a second. One moment. And then we will start with the class, okay? Just allow me one moment. Let me go through the attendance, please. Uh, Linda Magali Garcia Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. One moment. Uh, Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. <laughs> Luis. Ah, sorry, Lisa del Carmen Hernández, Miss Me. Present, sorry. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Luis. Present. Um, let me see. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present. Sorry for my camera. Marcos Antonio Melgar Perez. Yes, thank you. Marcos Antonio. Marcos is not here yet, right? Marelo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Marta Lidia Godinez. Sabrina Lizeth Garcia Orellana. Present. 
Turma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Present Miss. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Thank you. Julio César Ramírez Cerebro. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Jaime. Fátima Denise Aguilar Más Márquez. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Thank you, Estela. Sorry, uh, I just want to ask you if you can be with me in the one on one session. Okay. Yes, okay, thank you. Iliana, me ayude a poner todo su nombre, por favor. Gracias. Ángel uh, Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Ok, great. Ok, guys. So, thank you very much for the attendance. Let me get a second. And we will start with the class. Okay, so guys, uh, let's see. Hello. Are you watching the class? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, there are a lot of mosquitoes here, guys. Fatima, uh, le quería preguntar si pudo ver la clase. Está haciendo café. Sí. Pudo ver lo de los requerimientos. Sí. Ay, disculpe que no le pude mandar un mensaje ayer en privado, pero no le encontré. Solo que hice de que le escribí en el grupo en general, pero como no la pude etiquetar, quizás no vio que le puse su nombre. Eh, pero sí, sí, todo bien. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta, Fátima, acerca de eso. No, no, teacher. ahora estoy haciendo, la estoy haciendo. Ajá, la vi y estoy haciendo los ejercicios que le han estado haciendo. Ah, bueno, muchísimas gracias. Cualquier cosa de los requerimientos, de la asistencia, eh, de lo de las notas y, y las tareas, si tiene alguna pregunta me deja saber y con gusto le, 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 le ayudo a resolverlo, ¿ok? Ok. <risa> uh, now you can hear the, uh, the mosquito killer, right? Is killing a lot of mosquitoes. It's a stressful, but okay. If you have any anything, I mean, that I can do against mosquitoes, let me know, okay? <laughs> because I have a lot. I believe there is something wrong here. Sorry. So let's see. We will start right now. Let me get a second. Yes, there was a piece of rice. That's why it was doing this. There was a piece of rice on that. Okay. 
So I will share the screen guys right now and we will start with the class, okay? One moment. Um, can someone tell me what was the topic for uh, about yesterday's class, guys? Can someone tell me about the topic that we had yesterday, guys? I was about what clothes? What clothes? Very good. What are the what clothes, guys? Do you remember what are the what clothes? Any idea about what clothes? No. What uh, is the subject? Uh huh. The, the what clauses function as a as a subject, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good job. Okay, very good. So what I will do right now is that I will share the screen really quick, and we will have a review about yesterday's <coughs> class. Okay. Let me get a second. We will have a review, and as well, we will have a review today about the imperatives. Why the imperatives? It is because, I don't know if you remember the previous, I mean, the first class, we start, uh, we started to learn the sequence words. So the sequence words like first, um, secondly, third, finally, before, after, etc. So those are the sequence words. Whenever we use the sequence words is in order for you to tell a story, to tell a recipe, to say instructions, okay, etc. So whenever you set instructions, whenever you tell a story, whenever uh, you tell a recipe, you always use imperative, imperative verse, okay? That's what we have a review about this. And we will uh, see more examples about this later on. So this is the class number three. Okay, class number three. And today uh, we also have the imperatives as a review, okay? But first we will have a review about what subject, I mean, what classes, which was the previous uh, topic classes, okay? So, um, what clauses, guys? As I said before, what clauses are a type of noun clause, okay? That begins with the word what. It functions as a noun and may serve as the subject in the sentence, usually followed by the form of the verb be. I would like to ask you guys, what is the verb to be? What is the verb to be? What do you remember about the verb to be, Lisette? What is the verb to be, Lisette? Cero estar. Very good, cero estar. Could you please give me the examples of the verb to be, uh, Luis? Perdón. Could you please give me the examples of the verb to be? What are the verbs in, uh, in past? I mean, in verb to be. Was were. Was were in past. Perfect. And in present? Uh, um, are and is. Good job. Wow. Congratulations. Because right now that I'm asking you about the verb to be, you already know what is it, right? Claps, claps. Claps, claps. You don't have any doubts about answering. That's what I like. Because this is because you already internalized the verb to be. Okay, so I'm so glad to know about this. So we use the verb to be usually or often we use the verb to be, but not all the time. Because there are, I mean, we have more, more um, a stru a structure that we can use. We have more times, I mean, more, time, more tenses that we can use with what closes. And you will see them. But one of them that is very common is the verb to be, okay? So as an example, Sabrina, could you please tell me the example that is on this on the slide? Uh, I read, read. Yes, read. please, the example. Two examples. 
Number one, I want something to leave up the garden. I wanted. I wanted was something I wanted. No, sorry. <laughs> what I wanted was something to leave up the garden. Thank you. So what I wanted, guys, is, uh, I mean, what I wanted was that Serena read the examples for me. Okay, that's what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so guys, those, what I wanted, uh, let me see, let me get a second and let me select the point one. No, this is not the right. Okay, so, um, the pointer. So here we have what I wanted, guys. This is the what close. And the what close is made up of what at the beginning plus a pronoun plus a verb. Okay. But it is called close because it doesn't come be a full meaning or doesn't come be a full message. So that means that it is not a sentence. Okay, remember in the previous courses, I told you that a sentence, guys, is the one that gives you a complete message. Teacher, you are on mute. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, les estaba comentando de que eh, the close is not a sentence, ok. Eh, las closes por eso no son una oración porque no tienen un significado, bueno, no brinda lo que es un mensaje completo. No tiene un, bueno, en algunas ocasiones no tiene sujeto o puede que no tiene verbo o puede que no tiene el complemento. Pero más que todo... Es una close porque el mensaje está, no está completo. Por ejemplo, what I wanted. Si yo lo leo en español, dice lo que yo, que, lo que yo quería. So, si yo le digo lo que yo quería, at the end it doesn't come be a full message. A usted no le estoy transmitiendo un mensaje completo. So, if I say what I wanted, What I wanted, okay, what you wanted, what teacher, what did you want it? ¿Qué es lo que usted quería? Díganos. No hay una, un mensaje completo, por ende, se llama close y no es una oración, ok? So, ese, esa close, esa close es una what close porque empieza con what at the beginning. It functions as a noun and it serves as a subject. The function that we have here is a subject. Lo que nosotros estamos hablando en la segunda oración es lo que yo quería. Y lo quería, lo que yo quería, sorry, was, in past, era algo para animar el jardín o para embellecer más el jardín. ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que yo quería? ¿De qué se está hablando? De la idea de lo que yo quería. Esta es una idea, what I wanted. Acuérdense que el sujeto puede ser noun, it can be an object, it can be an idea, it can be, um, what else? An idea, an object, an animal, a person, okay? So this is an idea, what I wanted. Lo que yo quería es la idea. ¿Verdad? Esa es la idea, es lo que yo quería y de eso se está hablando la oración. El sujeto es de quién se habla o de lo que se habla. Y de lo que se habla en la oración es de lo que yo quería. ¿Y qué se está diciendo de lo que yo quería? Se está diciendo que eso era algo para animar al jardín. ¿Ok? What I wanted was something to live in up the garden. Probablemente acá está un poquito confuso porque es como que yo nunca digo qué es lo que quería, ¿verdad? Solamente era como que esto está como en un contexto, ¿verdad? Digamos como en algo que anteriormente ya se dijo. Por ejemplo, um, yo estoy hablando con Sabrina and I, I'm talking to, to her 
And I said, you know what? The garden, I don't like my garden. It is, it is, I mean, it is stress me out. There are a lot of, I mean, there are no trees on my garden and it's boring. It's boring. I would like to have more trees. I would like to have more trees and maybe I would like to have more lamps. Okay, maybe I would like to have some, um, let's see, some, uh, like maybe a sofa there. I don't know, a sofa that it, that it is used in the garden, something that can live up the garden. Okay, so ahí estoy diciendo qué es lo que yo quiero. Y ahora, probablemente pasa que al final no, no, porque falta de presupuesto yo no pude modernizar mi jardín entonces yo digo lamentándome lo que yo quería era algo para animar el jardín o algo para mejorar o para darle vida al jardín que eran las luces bueno las lámparas que yo quería poner los árboles ok las sillas que quería poner o el sofá que quería poner que es un sofá hecho para para el jardín ok entonces eso es lo que yo quería probablemente acá Usted se queda un poquito corto, ¿verdad? Porque eso, what I wanted, probablemente ya, ya, se, ya se dijo en otro contexto. Entonces, eso usted lo va a ver, esas what closes, guys. Ustedes lo van a ver en medio de un paragraph, de un párrafo, de una historia, de cualquier eh, escrito. Cualquier escrito o de hecho en cualquier... Eh, probablemente película, sí que usted viendo alguna serie, pero siempre hay un contexto atrás de todo esto. Sí, y ya vamos a ver, bueno, yesterday we saw more examples about this and we will continue reviewing those examples, okay? So, uh, this is like the structure, just as a reminder, guys, those are the uses of the word closes. Tenemos algunos usos que yo se los traje por acá, and this is the, the first one. We often uh, use what clauses if we want to introduce a new topic. Lo utilizamos para introducir un nuevo tema, para brindar una instrucción, para una explicación y para corregir algo que ya se había dicho. Ok? O algo que ya se había hecho. Here we have three examples. Yesterday we reviewed the examples, but let me just read them. What I like you to work on is the revision exercise on the website. Lo que yo quería que usted trabajara es, okay, lo que yo, oh, what I would like you to work on, lo que yo desearía, sorry, lo que yo desearía que usted trabajara es en la revisión del ejercicio del website, okay? Eso es lo que quería. Isa arrived two hours late. What had happened was that his bicycle chain had broken. Okay. We've only got his small bookcase. Will that do? No. What I was looking for was something much bigger and stronger. Okay. So, Esas son las what clauses y vamos a ver more exam. Oh, by the way, that's another use. Este es el otro uso. What clauses can also be used to add emphasis and read them. We can use a close beginning with what to give extra emphasis. Uh, for example, what makes me really angry is the claim is the claim that fox hunting is a traditional sport. Lo que a mí realmente me enoja es que ese deporte sea un, un, un deporte, el fox hunting o la caza de, de zorros sea un deporte tradicional. Entonces ella lo que está haciendo o él está, lo que está haciendo es resaltando que eso es lo que a él o a ella le enoja. Sí, está enfasando, está enfatizando, sorry, enfatizando lo que es esa idea. Entonces es como es el como el segundo uso de, de lo que son las what clauses. Pero como le digo, usted se los va a encontrar en muchos tipos de contexto. Let me share the screen and I will share the, the book. Okay. Really quick. Just one moment. Here I have it.
perdón, teacher, me podría mandar el, ahí el WhatsApp o el enlace, porque no estoy en el WhatsApp, en el grupo. Eh, no está en el grupo, pero se lo mandé en la tarde el link. Ah, voy a revisarlo. Es el segundo, que... el segundo que le mandé. No. Y si me puede mandar ahí, si lo tiene en la mano, si no el lo libro. voy a el libro. El libro. Ah, sí, ahorita. Ahorita se la el envía, Nelson, no se preocupe. Le voy a mandar, el, el primer enlace es el, el enlace de WhatsApp. Dele clic y lo va a redireccionar al WhatsApp. Y ahorita le voy a mandar el libro. Ok. Ready. Ahorita le mando el libro, Nelson. Nelson, I already send it to your WhatsApp, okay? The yes. student's yes. book is loading. It's loading. And okay. let me see. If you already joined, yes, you already did it, right? Okay, so let me share the screen, guys. Let me share the screen and we have more what closes here. Let's see. Okay, here you have them. Here you have the examples. Um, let's see what, oh, by the way, now that I remember, hicieron las oraciones con la what closes? Did you make the sentences? <clears throat> Great. Thank you, Fatima. Fatima, could you please help me with the number one, what you need? Um, make a list of what you need in your backpack for the trip. Oh, what you need is to make a list, right? Very good. Good job, Fatima. Let me see, give me a moment and let me put it here on the screen. What you need is to make a list of, sorry, uh, Fatima, could you please repeat the rest? Is to make a list of? Of your? For your seat. Sorry, I, I, can, I cannot hear you very well. For your? Trip. For your trip. Oh, for your trip. Thank you. I heard something about your backpack, so that's why I was hesitating. But yes, for your trip. What you need is to make a list for your trip. Good job, Fatima. Good job. Okay, let's see. Who wants to tell me the second one? What my friend did? Who wants to help me? Uh -huh. Go, go, Fatima. Go, Christian, go, Christian. What my friend did, study English. What my friend did is, or was? What my friend did is to study English. Oh, I, I believe it's in past, right? Because but, of the did. Yeah, but in this case, it's not necessary. It was. What my friend did was. Tiene que ir el verbo. But uh, I use this. Is necessary to put the other verb? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Because what remember my what did. my friend did, what you need, what I would do, what I'm saying is, todo eso solo es el sujeto. Yes? Okay. Uh -huh. What my friend did was studying. Was studying. 
English. 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 Very good. What my friend did was to study in English. Good job. Perfect. Ok, si ustedes se fijan acá, Cristian ocupó otra estructura. No el verb to be, sino que el past continuous. But this doesn't mean that it's not correct. Eso no significa que no esté correcto. Claro que no. Acuérdense que usualmente toma verb to be, pero no todas las veces. Puede tomar otro tipo de estructura. Al final es una noun phrase. Ok. Good, Cristian. What, what I would do, sorry. Who can tell me this one? What I will do. Who has this one? What I will do. Ileana Carolina, do you have this? What I will do? Tiene ese ejemplo? No, we can hear you. I believe she said no. Marcos Antonio, do you have this example? What I will do? No, teacher. No? Okay. Alexandra, do you have it? What I will do? It's like in Spanish, guys. Lo que yo haría... What I will do, mm -hmm. I have a question in this case, I, I, I want to use the verb to be, but in this case is am. What I will do, oh, okay, vaya, and super, thank is. you. Thank you for asking me, Christian, is, is, porque al final, sé que usted va a hacer eso, pero al final, que, acuérdese que ese close es como, es el sujeto. So, usted ya, ya dijo lo que usted, su idea de what I will do. Entonces, es como que yo diga en Spanish, lo que yo haría es, y usted dice que es lo que haría, ¿ok? Porque usted está hablando de la idea de lo que usted haría, ¿sí? So, what I, what I will do, do is sleep. Is, is sleep. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, sleep. Okay, acá podemos hacerlo de dos maneras. What I will do is to sleep. Okay? To sleep. O sleeping. What I will do is sleeping or what I will do is to sleep. Cualquiera de las dos. Okay? Okay, so what I'm saying is Who can tell me what I'm saying? Lo que yo estoy diciendo es, uh -huh, what I'm saying is? I like this subject. Uh -huh, very good. What I'm saying is? I like that I, this subject. That I like this subject. Lo que yo estoy diciendo es que a mí me gusta esta materia. Muy bien. Good job. Ahí ocupamos yes. el DAT. O asignatura. Sí. Sí. Yes. In the, in no los quiero confundir porque no quiero decirles exactamente todo eso, pero en un futuro vamos a ver ese tipo de clauses. También son clauses los que empiezan con el DAT. Luego lo vamos a ver, pero también es un tipo de close el DAT. But in, in the last example, what I am saying is, I. I use two times Oh, is. no, 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 sorry. No, my it was my bad here. Le puse un is. Va sin un is ahí. Let me see, lo voy a tapar, sorry. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying is that I that, like this subject. En ese caso, Cristian, no lleva, no lleva. Uh -huh. Porque ya lo estamos diciendo. Lo que yo estoy diciendo es, dice, uh -huh. that I like the subject. Hay dos cláusulas aquí. No voy a meterme en lo del that clause porque no los quiero confundir, pero hay dos cláusulas y luego vamos a ver eso con más tiempo, más cláusulas. Don't worry, ¿ok? But thank you for your, for your observation. There is just one, one verb. 
What I'm saying is that I like this subject, okay? Acuerde, bueno, ahí yo creo, Cristian, que fue un error, tal vez. Déjeme ver. Lo vamos a hacer así mejor, para que no se confunda. Fue un error de dedo poner el is adelante, ¿ya? Porque solo la cláusula es what I'm saying. Hasta ahí. ¿Sí? El is ya, te, ya, ya es, eh, pertenece al complemento con el verbo. So, just to reconfirm, guys. Solo, just to reconfirm, las cláusulas de acá son las siguientes. Y esas están funcionando como subject. They are functioning as a subject. We have what you need, what my friend did, what I will do, what I'm saying. Esas son las noun clauses. They are functioning as a subject. Now, let's look the verb. Let, let's look to the verb. The verbs are is, was studying together, is, and is, okay? And the complement is the rest. What you need is to make a list for your trip. What my friend did was studying English. English will be just the complement. What I will do is to sleep. What I'm saying is that I like this subject, okay? So, acá tenemos examples that you did, guys. So, congratulations for this. Thank you for making your homework. And here we have more examples, okay? In the, let's go to the exercise number five. Nos vamos a ir para el ejercicio number five. Select the best expression from the table in session four to complete the sentence. Vamos a seleccionar de estas cuatro, okay? La que mejor match the best the match with the four exercise here, okay? For example, number one, my best friend just opened his own, own shop. So my best friend just opened his own shop. Period. Aquí hay un period. Look, this is a period. So we have a new sentence después. We have a new sentence. Let's see. I will do this one. What, my best friend just opened his own shop. What you need was to open it in a good mall. Do you believe is that correct? What my friend did was open it in a good mall. What I will do was open it in a good mall. Or what I'm saying is, is was was it open in a good mall? ¿Cómo sería ahí? Guys? I think what I'm saying. What I'm saying? No, no, I'm sorry. No. What, what my best friend did. What my friend did, okay. What my friend did was open it in a good mall. Very good. Good job. Okay, so... My best friend uh, just opened his own shop. What my friend did was opening in a good mall. Good job. What about the next one? Uh, many people want to start their own business. What about that, guys? What, what the people want to start own business? Many, vamos a agarrar los what clauses de estas tres que nos quedan. Many people want to start their own business. When you need lots of information, what I will do, or what I'm saying is. What many people want business. No, I mean, those closes, the what closes, la vamos a agarrar de las tres que faltan, acá. It can be what I will do. What, what I will do. What Many they people, need. What, what they need. What you what need. They, what they need. Because many people. Many people want what to they, start their own business. What they need is a lot of, lot of information. Mm, want to start uh, mm -hmm. 
Let's put it in the same con... way. Ajá. Okay, es, como que, es como que usted lo diga como un advice en Spanish. Ah, es como que con uh, lo que usted it's, it's in general. Ajá, es en general. Exactly. Many people I want to start their own business. What you need is lots of information. Let's okay. see. So let's go to the next one. Many people, sorry, I don't know where she has to start. Is promote the products online. What will what will be the best one here? What I will do? What I will do? Perfect. What I will do? What I will do? Perfect. Okay. W is right. What I will do. So at the end, we'll be saying, I don't know where she has to start. What I will do is promote. Is promote. Hmm. Aquí sería is to promote the products online or sería is promoting the products online. Aquí falta algo. Sorry, but see, there's missing something. Se parece a la que usted me hizo, Christian. Que decía, is sleep. Is it sleeping or is to sleep? Okay, so number four. What, 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 I'm what I'm saying is, perfect, what I'm saying is. Okay, so sería, people don't know, sorry. People don't buy new products because they can't, because they can't, right? What I'm saying What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, oh my God, sorry for this. What I'm saying is there is no demand, okay? What I'm saying is there is no demand, okay? So, si se fijaron, cabal, aquí está el error, miren. Acá si lo pone con el is, quiere decir que el is no es parte de acá. It's not part of the, it's not part of the what close, el is. So, any question you may have about those examples, guys? Let's repeat after me. Let's repeat. What you need is what you need is to have a great product. Guys, let's repeat after me. What you need is to have a great product. What you need is to have a product. What my friends did was get fresh ingredients. What I will do is sell my product uh, in new markets. What I'm saying is that it, it is not an easy task. Good job. Okay, guys, let me see. I'm just one, two. Okay, so this is what we will do right now. We will watch uh, two videos, guys. Let's watch two videos, okay? We will watch two videos. Pay attention to the videos, please. And later on, uh, you will talk about one product, okay? One product in your um, work, uh, in your workspace, okay? So one second. Let me play the two videos. Those videos, guys, are about manufacturing, okay? It is about manufacturing. Remember, guys, manufacturing, as the conversation said before, um, here we have it. Let's see, um, is how we make our top seller. That's basically... <laughs> manufacturing processes okay is is how a product is made so that is manufacturing so we will watch a video about manufacturing pay attention and then we will watch a second video okay 
once we watch the two videos, you will uh, have an activity in which you will make a presentation about the manufacturing product, all right, that you have in your in your job, okay, in your work. So give, give me just a second. Let me know if you can see this cream, guys. Do you see this cream? Yes, teacher. Let me share the sound and pay attention, guys. Let me know if, if everything is good with the video. So, you're about to manufacture your products, or you're already doing that. Yes, you collect some testing data and even set up procedures to monitor quality, but... Guys, solo lo voy a molestar, lo voy a molestar con el micrófono para que se escuche mejor. Thank you, guys. Sorry. But do you really have... So, you're about to manufacture your products, or you're already doing that. Yes, you collect some testing data and even set up procedures to monitor quality. But do you really have the capacity to review and analyze this enormous amount of data on a daily basis? Are you alerted when something critical is happening? The final result can end up being far from what you expected, and definitely not. Guys, do you listen to the video? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What you expected. Yes. And definitely not what your customers are looking for. Time to meet Quality Line, the first quality and manufacturing analytics system. Quality Line lets you monitor the quality of your in house or outsourced manufacturing lines from everywhere in real time, 24 7. How does it work? Quality Line is connected to the testing stations located along your manufacturing line and automatically collects data throughout the process. The integration is done remotely and you don't have to change anything in your existing testing applications. The testing results from your line are processed and you get the entire data already analyzed. You can overview your testing data and drill down all the way to the individual unit. You'll be alerted to any quality incidents and even get predictions of at-risk quality issues. You'll improve quality, increase yield, and save a lot of money in manufacturing costs. Quality Line lets you monitor the quality of your manufacturing line and be confident that your clients get top-notch products. Try it out for free. Do you see this cream, guys? Do you see this cream? Method of production? Do you see the black, black cream? Yeah, and the screen is on black. Thank you. Okay. The world is full of things, all kinds of things. We don't necessarily need them all, but they're here anyway. And the thing these things have in common, they've all been made by somebody.
But how are they made? Factories come in all shapes and sizes. The types of production, broadly, fall into three categories. Job, or one-off production, could be a musical instrument, a hot air balloon, or even the mighty Three Gorges Dam in China. Then there's batch production. That's for sets of things, and then changing to do other sets of things. And thirdly, continuous flow. For when you want to make lots and lots of the same thing non-stop. The categories seem straightforward, except that in the real world, it isn't quite that simple. There are all kinds of variations on these three basic categories, as we shall see. The viola de gamba died out. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so uh, I would like to, to ask you guys, what did you understand about the video? What can you tell me about the video? Mm -hmm. It's important to analyze. Important? To analyze. No sé cómo se dice el mercado. El, el, the merchant? Ajá, uh -huh, los posibles compradores. Algo así entendí yo como todo el mercadeo que se hace antes de vender Oh, the algo. marketing. Ajá. Uh -huh. All the marketing that you do before the manufacturing, right? And what is the meaning of manufacturing? Manufacturing, no, oh, okay. So manufacturing, guys, is exactly what you do in a... Oh my God, how do you say that? Um, I just forgot the name of this and it was an, it is, it's basically the fact of creating a product. In Spanish, will be like the fabricación de algo. Whenever you create a product, all the steps of how to create a new product. That's basically what manufacturing is. Oh, the thing that you do in the factories, okay? What the factories uh, do all the time. They create new products, so that, that is manufacturing. I don't know if it is clearer. Like, do you remember the Cafe Expresso? that we were talking yesterday, Cafe Expresso, the recipe? The uh, I don't want to created. remember that. I don't, <laughs> I don't want, want to remember, remember that. that. To, to, uh, today I didn't drink coffee <laughs> for that. So guys, this manufacturing refers, guys, whenever you are processing the raw product. Uh, I'm sorry, the raw material. Do you know the meaning of raw? Raw. Raw, raw materials. Raw material is like in, in Spanish, el material crudo, okay? Whenever you are processing the raw material of parts in order to get a product, in order to get a good, right? You can use equipment, you can use chemical processing, you can use Human labor, usted necesita personas, maquinarias, necesita diferentes procesos para llegar a crear 
eh, ese material crudo es un producto que pueda ser consumible por, por, por el cliente. Es lo que hacen en las, en las maquilas, ¿ok? En the factories. This is manufacturing process. ¿Ok? So, those are the videos about. So, maybe, guys, you don't know, I mean, you don't work for a company like that. Maybe you work for another type of job. Ok, so maybe it's going to be difficult to talk about this topic for you, but uh, there are some of you that you actually work in a factory. Ok, so you will understand about manufacturing and all of this. Guys, but I want to ask you a question. I don't know if you can hear me good. O se escucha mucho, mucho sonido atrás. Background sound, background noise. Escuchan. Claro. Mucho. Sorry. It's because it's raining a lot. And I'm trying to do my best. Pero sí, está lloviendo súper fuerte y hay una gran tormenta. Pero okay. that's why. Finish the class. No, Christian, come on. <laughs> okay, guys, so here you have Christian teacher. I mean, Christian is going to be your teacher, okay? Okay, Christian, go. <laughs> y Jaime, guys, ¿qué se hizo? Where is Jaime? Dentro. No se escucha, no, no, no se ve, no se escucha, no se siente tampoco, ¿verdad? Yo, yo creo que no entró. No está porque no ha peleado conmigo. Sí, no está. Ok. I will do my best, guys. Vamos a hacer lo, lo mejor. Pero vaya, ok. Ahorita, we will do something. Give me a second. Okay, guys, so now we have a speaking practice. And this speaking practice is to uh, have a writing, I mean, to prepare a two minute presentation about a product for your company using with what clauses, okay? So this is going to be your job, guys. So I said, so, 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 so we will create a two minutes presentation. Una presentación de dos minutos, okay? Si usted quiere de un minuto, it's fine for me. Vamos a hacer equipos de tres. Okay, entre los tres, I know you can do it. Un poquito cada uno va a decir. Y van a inventar que tienen una... Eh, una factory, una maquila. Y ustedes venden un producto y ustedes lo hacen ahí, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, ustedes me van a explicar cómo hacen ese producto, los steps. Básicamente, el proceso de, de facturación que hacen, de fabricación, sorry, el proceso de fabricación que usted hace en su compañía, ¿ok? No lo quiero largo, guys. Solamente digan, oh, tenemos este producto, nos vamos para el departamento de no sé qué, lo pasamos por acá, dicen that, and we finish. Ok, solamente me va a explicar los pasos de lo que es la fabricación de su producto. Si usted, por ejemplo, gracias Kevin, si usted no, no trabaja en una maquila o en una factory, en una compañía donde hacen en producto, perdón que esté así, pero les quiero hablar súper bien <ríe> por la lluvia. Um, invéntense un producto. Para eso vamos a hacer un grupo de tres. ¿Ok? Voy a pasar la lista rapidito, guys. Antes que se me vayan para los breaker rooms. Denme un segundito por acá. No sé si tienen... Oh, by the way, a propósito, guys, traten de incluir en la presentación que van a hacer eh, los, las clauses, las cláusulas de que hemos visto, ¿ok? Traten de incluir en esa, en esa, eh, en esa presentación las cláusulas, aunque sea uno cada uno, una cláusula que diga cada uno al momento que esté explicando en los steps, that would be great. Solamente uno por cada uno. Ingeniensela para que en la presentación usted diga una what clause, please. 
put them into um, practice, ok? Pongámoslo en práctica y tratemos de ocupar en esa presentación también, como van a decir los pasos, las sequence words que estábamos viendo. The sequence words que eran first, second, finally, etc. Y los que se acuerdan de los imperativos, traten de poner en práctica los imperativos. Acuérdense que los imperativos ya los vamos a hacer un review, pero usted no le pone subject. Es como que, hey, stand up, hey, go out, hey, uh, please listen. Esos son los imperativos. You know already about the imperatives. So vamos a tratar de incluir eso en la presentación, guys. Si quieren, vamos a hacer algo. Mm, voy a pasar a Lisa rapidito. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Presente. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del CID. Present teacher. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Fátima, por aquí la vi, Fátima. Thank you. Ok, one moment. Um, Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jonathan Alexi González Zorras. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio, ¿está ahí? Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Jenny Lizeth Coyer de Barrientos. Present teacher. Uh, Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Present, Linda sir. Magali García Montoya. Thank you, Kevin. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos Antonio. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Surma Yarisa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. Yuri Alexandra Flores Parada. Present. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present. Thank you. Ok, guys. Voy a hacer los break rooms ahorita. No sé si tienen una pregunta acerca de la actividad que vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer una actividad de dos minutos en dividido. Bueno, eh, va a ser en grupos de tres. Ok. So sorry for the background. Sí. Is ¿Sí? one factory per group. Ajá. Bueno, bueno, un producto. One product for, per group. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Van a explicar el proceso de eh, fabricación, the manufacturing pro, uh, process, ¿ok? Give me a Miss. second, ahorita lo voy a, a asignar. Miss. Miss. Miss, I'm sorry, but... Teacher. Hello. Hola. Yuri is talking, talking to you. Yuri. Uh, sorry, Yuri. sorry, es que sí les escucho bien poco, guys. Dígame. I am sorry, but I could understand the last part because you hear an interrupción. Okay, um, I'm sorry. Sí, les estaba uh, mencionando que, que vamos a hacer eh, lo del... 
Lo de la presentación de dos minutos, donde ustedes van a explicar los procesos de, de, de cómo fabrican un producto. Okay. Como el que estábamos haciendo ayer, del café expreso. Okay. <ríe> y de los videos sí. que estábamos viendo. Y lo vamos a hacer en trigger, ¿ok? Sí, Ahorita... Sí, it's fine. Thank you for, let, for letting me know, for asking me, Alexandra. I'm sorry Thank for you. the background noise, ¿ok? Thank you. Ahorita los estoy asignando, guys. Le dan click on join, please. Guys, denle click on join, please, Kenny and Marielos.
cualquier producto que se hace o, o... o... Teacher, puede ser cualquier producto, no tiene que ser complicado la descripción del producto. Sí, guys, puede ser cualquier producto. Ajá, ustedes lo pueden inventar inclusive. Thank you, teacher. Y que okay. dan como, como para hacer un vestido, no sé, que compramos la tela, de ahí la enviamos a un, al departamento, al departamento donde, de costura. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can be that one. Uh -huh. That's a good one. For example, the factories that make uh, towels or the factories that make t-shirts, um, etc. Just... You can go ahead and create a factory or a company that create a next product or a next specific product, right? So it can be that, yes, that, that's good. Uh, so we, we have to um, describe the, the, the process uh, or the steps. The process. Uh -huh. But uh, we have to mention the the place. No, no, no. I mean, no. At least that you just uh, mentioned the steps. That's okay for me. Don't worry. Just the, just steps. the steps. You can okay. you can include the imperatives. Yeah. You can include the sequence words, and try to include the the what closes. All right, just at least one close, that will be great, okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Um, we can start to, to talk about uh, uh, desire, desire. We have to uh, create a new, uh, a new clothes, a new style, or something. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Y cómo se dice what we say that in English? Quiero ver. No, I don't have internet. It's just that. Teacher, help. <laughs> yes, Sabrina, tell me. Yes, how do you say in English? A pelar, a fruit. Ah, it's like peel, peel, peel. Double E. P E E L. P E E L. Mm -hmm. And exprimir. Which one? Exprimir. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. squeeze. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. squeeze. Peel oh, okay. and squeeze. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces, Mariana, we wash them, uh -huh. peel them. Uh -huh. See, they select the best orange and uh -huh. wash them. Mm -hmm. Wash them. Okay. Peel uh, no, no, no. and peel squeeze. De la, las orange, no, no. squeeze. Exprima. Ok, squeeze, squeeze con D al final. De orange. Orange al peel, peel. Peel and a squeeze. A squeeze. Luego que se exprime. Y para 
Ah, ok. Ocupan... Eh, y luego sigue. For... ¿Así? Después de equipan, equipan, ¿qué sigue? For equipan of layer, layer, ¿cómo se dice? Layer, large, teacher. Layer, sí. Layer, vea. Uh, sorry, which one? Eh, largo o gran equipo. Bigger, se puede usar bigger equipment. O... Oh, larger equipment. Larger equipment. Larger. Mm -hmm. Larger equipment. Larger equipment, for example. Mm -hmm. Vinyls, tarps. Eh, tinta, no sé mm -hmm. cómo se dice. Which yeah. one, I'm sorry? Which one? Tinta. Lonas, ink. 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 Uh -huh. ink. ink, exactly. Okay, tengo, eh, no, tinta, vinil. ink, ¿verdad? Tinta, yes. ¿verdad? Sí, ink. Uh -huh. ink. Eh, donde estoy perdido, teacher, es lonas. ¿Cómo se escribe en inglés? Lonas. Creo que tarps. Sí, tarps. Um, but which, that, that what means. kind of, what kind of Una lona, teacher, ¿cómo decir? Uh, bueno, yo lo que entiendo por una lona, lona es una, una carpeta. Una, que una una carpeta. Carpeta. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. that are, the one that is made of, of, of clothes. The one that is made with clothes, right? La que se echa yes, de, yes. De, de, ah, okay. okay. Lisette, ¿por qué no lo dejamos solamente en, en vinil eh, e ins y, y otros? Ok. Sí, man. Pero vea que. I believe it's sell clothes. Let me, let me get a second. I'm just trying to, to make sure. ¿Cómo se dice en estos? Donde se guarda la gente así que no le da el sol. ¿Cómo Uy, se dice, ar... ticha? Ah, eh, carpa. Canopy, canopy. But I don't know Anome, exactly canopy. the Pero... name. Of, canopy, I don't know if that's exactly the name because canopy is at the extreme export yeah. in it's Spanish it. as well, right? <laughs> 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 But I believe, yes, you know, it's like, uh -huh. let me see. Um, no. Yes, actually, yes. Es que déjeme ver canopy. Lo voy a buscar eh, eh, así como. No, eh, sería. Es que Ajá, es que cuando yo le veo canopy, yo me pongo punto, el. Me pone el. Me, me, me pone el, el extreme sport. Eh, en inglés, <risas> lona se, se dice canvas. Cam, canvas. Ah, pero esa canvas es como para dibujar. Es, es, exactamente, exactamente. Exactamente ¿Esa eso. Esa es. Ah, ok. Sí. Sí. Ah, entonces y ahí sí. también la, la, hay canvas para dibujar tiche, y hay canvas ah. para imprimir. Esta canva es para imprimir, la que dice Lisette, es la misma toldo, solo que ya impresa se pone como para sí. escribir. Eh, y por eso yo siempre sí. les pregunto, guys, como, como a qué se refieren o para qué lo necesitan, porque hay diferentes tipos de purposes y cambian en sí, inglés. Sí, es, es, es lona para impresión. Mm. Igual que el cama que usted menciona, que es una, una lonita que ponen así y empiezan a dibujar con, con filo, no sé, con, con, con cositas que pintan los pintores. Let me see, Canva. Um, Canva Print, Print Canvas. Ajá, uh -huh. it can be print canvas. Your topic sounds interesting, guys. But what kind of print is it? What kind of print is it? ¿Cuál es el tipo de, de impresión que le van a hacer? Porque eso me interesa saber también. No, teacher, oh. eso es producto de los que ofrecemos. Ah, ok. Because I got another translation that is tar, tarp. Sí, tarp. I believe the one that you mean is es que miren, este el, 
No sé, Nelson, si usted se refiere a las lonas que son de tela o las lonas que son como canvas para dibujar. Porque las lonas de tela, las que se ocupan como carpas no. o canopy, esa se dice tarp. Eh, la, 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 lona, la otra para dibujar. La lona banner que nosotros distribuimos uh -huh. es una lona hecha a, a base de petróleo que lleva unos tejidos que lleva unos tejidos y unos micro, microporos para que ancre la tinta. Cuando una impresora le va pasando, por ejemplo, usted manda su foto a la computadora y dice, uh -huh. la quiero en esta medida, ella va pegando, va, va, va manchando, va, va este, imprimiendo, uh -huh. perdón, y ahí queda en esa lona, pero lo hace la máquina impresora. Es una lona banner. La lona... Que lona dice, banner. Ah, ok. Exacto. Now I have a better idea about. Let me see. Lona banner. It's like a Canva banner then. Acá me parece como una Canva banner. Sí, Ajá, lo que usted me está diciendo. Canva banner. Ajá, ajá, eso es. Uh -huh. Canvas banner. Canvas banner. Esto se lo voy a mandar acá en, en el... Se fijan porque uno tiene que saber exactamente el contexto, porque no puede dar cualquier tipo de, de meaning, o oh, perdón, de cualquier tipo de palabra cuando no es así. Entonces, canvas banner. Es canvas sí, no, banner. Sí, se dio bien, se dio bien. ¿eh? Ah, ok, great. Bye, guys. Any other question? Let me know, okay? Good job, guys. How are you guys? ¿Cómo vamos? Good. Are you good guys? Yes. If you have any question, let me know, okay? okay. It's ready. Teacher, we finish. Wow, good job. Okay, let me confirm with the other ones if they have already finished, okay? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Guys, did you finish? No, teacher. No, yet, teacher. Do you need three more minutes? It's fine for you, three more minutes? Five three? minutes. Oh yes. my God. What happens is that the other one already finished. <laughs> That's why, guys. I will check with another group, okay? Blender and they put in a, in a blender, put in a glass and put in a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. And now it's ready for sale. What me? Como así? Working in solution. 
en offer trabajamos 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 porque si de word sería de trabajar ¿va? pero uh -huh. como este es plural eh, este yo for life format equipment 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 for for example in ins banner canvas and other project tanti client need mm -hmm. quiero ver pues mire vale léame lo completo el suyo para ver si está igual que el mío okay working in solution an offer working raw material for that Format equipment. Hay una coma. Vinil, uh, for example, vamos con eso. Por ejemplo, eh, vinil, coma, uh -huh. kings, banner canvas, banner, other, banner, banner canvas. 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 Uh -huh. Sea, sea N, B, A, eh, V. Ese es canvas. And, ahí le ponemos una coma también y nos vamos con en ahora products that the clients needs. No sé cómo cómo le quedó ahí. Sí, sí. En, me equivoqué en algo. Me equivoqué en algo ahí. Es, no, no, esa, esa parte que, que, que leyó, si me la puede volver a repetir, por favor. Vale, la, es que, vale di, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Equipen, por ejemplo, vinil, uh -huh. coma, kings, coma, vamos a poner una comita para separarlo. Banner, canvas, por... Hello, girls, did you finish? No, eso so <laughs> no, yes. <I'm> <laughs> what happens is that the other one's finished, guys. Uh, yes, it's about this the closest. You are right. Tiene razón. Guys, I will leave you for two more minutes here and I will come back to the main room. But I will leave you just two more minutes here, just to you, okay? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry. It's fine. Thank you. Fatima tiene razón. Entonces, we can use. Um, What I um, review the pieces? What? Hello, hello. I was uh, stuck in a break room and I couldn't come back. So I'm sorry. 
estaba en un breakout room y no podía regresar, guys. But I'm here. Um, Judy. Okay, guys, we're done. Who wants to start? Who wants to start with your manufacturing product? Me. Christian group, Christian and Amilka, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Great, perfect. Let's do it, guys. Okay. Hello, we are to explain our manufacturer's movie. First, we bought the fruit in a Tiendona market. Uh, what I would do that buying at the price market? Second, could the fruit add, add sugar and ice? What I am saying is necessary at milk. Finally, mix these ingredients together in a blender, put in a glass, and put in a refrigerator. Now it's ready for sale. What you need a delivery service. It's finished. <laughs> Excuse me, wow, a round of applause for you, wow. Great job, guys. Not simple, it was so easy and you uh, put into practice everything. Very good, okay? Okay, could you please choose the next per the next um, team or the next couple? I believe we have teams here. Or the next group. Um, Amilcar, could you please choose another person? Um, Sabrina. Okay, Sabrina. Let's do it, Sabrina. Ay, me la mandé mensaje. Se siente la presencia de Jaime aún así. Bueno, teacher, my partner was, was Marielus, but we didn't do a conversation. We okay. do a presentation, a short presentation. Oh, good, good. But, uh, the first paragraph, if you can, uh, Marielos can say the, the first paragraph. Marielos, creo que puede decir el primer párrafo y yo continúo. Marielos. Okay, okay, okay. Great. Okay, okay. yeah. yeah. We sell orange juice. First, we get the orange from local growers. Grower. Then we select the best orange and wash them. Uh, hasta ahí el primer part. Okay. What we do is to offer an orange juice with the best quality. Come on and throw our orange juice. That's all. Very uh, good, guys. You finished, don't, right? Yes, don't drink Coca-Cola. Drink our juice. Ooh, <laughs> great. <laughs> I won't drink Coca-Cola. Very good, okay? Okay. Ileana, sorry to, to tease you again. Could you please help me with your name? Puede poner eh, todo su nombre? Completo, please. Deme un segundo, solamente mando un link de esta reunión porque alguien es, tiene problemas para ingresar. Sorry guys, just one second. Okay, Sabrina, could you please choose another, another group? Marcos Melgar. No Marcos, Marcos, okay. <laughs> Okay, Marcos, let's do it, Marcos. Thank you, Sabrina. <laughs> okay. He's happy. 
Mm -hmm. We we talk about manufacturing the paper. How introduce and first the uh, of timing will um uh, um of the barking the barking the raw mat material material. Uses is wool um, to often it is necessary to put down three three um remove all the branches br branches to live after only the mine through through I don't know through after that fiber. Fiber and pasta, pasta the drum are cut into small process to obtain their vegetables, vegetables fiber or fiber, no sé. Also, so treatment, treatment, no sé cómo se dice eso. Treatment, algo así. Treatment with chemical product. Sorry. <laughs> Finish. Next okay, person. Marcos. What were your? I mean, where are you? Your, where are your classmates? Sorry. <laughs> where are your classmates? <laughs> Okay. okay. Oh, you, you you was the one that you just read it, Marcos. Yes, I did. You read all. I I, I read in my in my group. Ah, you that's the group, the group one. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, finished, right? Do you have no, any no, other no. Per, to participate, Carla? Go, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, Anything the past of the most we was feeling and bring pressing pressing the past in the instrument into in royals in the order to obtain the dearest tickets for the paper behind manufacturers. Um, yeah, Alexa. Okay, Alexa. Okay. Then we go to dry once press. The pasta is in dry. And finally, finish after all these steps. The paper will be practically ready. What we need is to pass the paper through core crawler that give it the final, finally, and is transported to cut the paper according to the size, layer the, the Packaging of the same. Okay, great guys. Very good. All right. Jarixa, what will be the next person or the next group? Okay. Um, what's Nelson? Okay, Hello. Nelson Reason. Hello. Lisette. Um, uh -huh. Lisette. Lisset, eh, voy a comenzar yo, Lisset, el primer párrafo y usted con, eh, finaliza. Ok. We were in solution and offer our trends or material for large formal equipment. Ok. For equipment, equipment. Large format, for example, uh, vinyls, um, banners, and 
another products what the client need. It's all finished. Okay, great. Thank you. Good job, guys. Who's next? Who's the next person? They said the next group. Uh, Iliana Carolina. Iliana Carolina. Sorry, we can hear you, Iliana. We can hear you. No la escuchamos. We can hear you. <laughs> ah, ¿Quién iba con Iliana? Guys? Nobody? I believe she was having a problem with the internet. Um, she's another person, please. Sorry, they said. Who's missing? I believe they're missing just one group, right? Okay. Kenny uh, Lisset. Kenny? Kenny was not was not in any group, I believe. I didn't see her. Um I believe there is just one group that is missing, Mabel's group, right? Fatima's group. Are you ready, girls? Thank you. Yes, teacher. Uh, we can read uh, one sentence each one. Sure. Uh, Um, this is a design of a t-shirt to work up this year. And then Fatima or, or Angela. Second step. Hmm? Read the second sentence. The cloth color what is the apartment need for cloth to make it. And our partner. <laughs> okay. Um second. Choose the sign and color. Next. Bring the clothes to the curing, cutting department. Four. Bring the clothes to C1 department and make the shirt to the World Cup. Next. No le escuchamos. Check, check. Pack the t-shirt to delivery. Okay. <laughs> we finished, teacher. Great job. Good, girls. I believe there was another person, right? No? Ah, okay. Good. Very good, okay? Good job. The cute department, that's a dangerous one, right? Because the equipment is dangerous. <laughs> the one that could. It's not a simple scissor, no. It's another type of equipment and it's dangerous. But good, thank you, girls. Okay, so who's missing? Nobody's missing, right? Okay, guys, so thank you very much for your presentation. You did an amazing job. And uh, let me see. Let me share the screen really quick so we can continue with this, with the class. Let me get a second. Um, all right, so now guys, let me share the book. Okay, let me share the book. One moment. Let me share the book here. Okay, 
So we have this conversation right now, guys. We have this conversation and this is basically a conversation between um, Mr. Ronald and Mrs. Nunez, okay? So I will go ahead and read it and I will say popcorn and the, and the person that will continue with the reading, okay? So after saying popcorn, the next person will read. So pay attention. Voy a decir popcorn y el nombre de la persona que lo va a leer. Um, so let's see. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Today is your first day at the plant. Popcorn, uh, Jerixa. My name is Miss Nunez. Um, I'm going to explain what you must do in the products line. Okay. Uh, sigo. Ah, popcorn and then say the name of the next person. Sabrina, Lizette. Sabrina, go for it. Nice to meet you, Mr. Miss Nunez. Where do we start? Popcorn, uh, Jose Nelson. Jose Nelson, could you please help me to read one sentence? Una oración, and then say popcorn. Excellent. Feels you are in charge of uh, topping, topping, topping tea. Stopping the conveyor belt. Ah, well, the shopping tank conveyor belt. Please, yes. see what, please push the red. red. Como se le da ahí, teacher? But push, push this push red this, button. Push this red button. Mm -hmm. You can choose another person now. Uh, popcorn and say the next, uh, the next person. No, you can choose another one. Okay. Elija a alguien más y diga popcorn antes del nombre de la otra persona. No. Thank no, you. Mr. Mr. Marcos, quiero oírlo. Mr. Marcos, Marcos, ok. Ok. Segundo, draw a pair of tone and pick, a, pick every piece of chocolate. Draw this chart and check every piece. Mr. Christian. Wow. Make sure each meet the specification in this chart. There, place the, def the, def the defective chocolate in this funnel. Popcorn. The water market. <laughs> Amilka. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Finally, fill in report and the and the end of the day about the defective pies. Pieces. Yes. Sorry, guys. Great. Okay. So now, guys, thank you a lot. Now, uh, repeat after me. Yes. Let's say, um, button, oh, sorry, sorry, no, conveyor belt, conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Mm. Button, button. Button, button. button. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Peace. Chocolate. 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 Repeat, teacher. Chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, defective. Defective. Good. Okay. So, guys. Uh, could you please tell me what are what is the name of this verse? Could you please tell me what is the name of this um, structure? What is the name of this structure, guys? 
push this red, grab a pair of tongue, pick every piece, read the chart, check every piece, place the defective and fill in. What is it? What are they, guys? How do you call this that is structure? Imperative. Good job, imperatives. Could you please tell me? Sorry, could you please tell me what are the functions of the imperatives, guys? Advice. Advice? Okay, whenever, okay, advice, what else? Direction. Direction, Direc okay. Direction. Uh -huh. Another one? Another function, guys, you remember? No worries. So, guys, uh, let's see. Let me, get a, let me get a second here. Let me scroll down. And remember, the imperatives, you already know about the imperatives, but this is a review. You already put them in context. You already told me the steps of the manufacturing of your product. You put them in context already. You use them. You already see it in a conversation. Acá están. Esos son los imperatives. And now, just as a reminder, guys, the imperatives is to give an order. Okay? To give an order. For example, guys, please, uh, guys, please turn on the camera. Give orders. Hey, sit down. Okay? Uh, and also to give instructions. Okay? Guys, go to the page 20 and match the sentences, instructions, okay? To make invitations. To make invitations, imperative do not have subject, okay? To make invitations as well. We use them for that. And also, let's see. Um, I believe I had here some of the instructions, I mean, some of the uses as well. One second. I believe this is a class that we already saw. Let me get a second. No sé si pueden ver la pantalla, guys. Pueden ver donde dice imperative sentences. No, right? No, teacher. No, okay, here you have them. Now? Yes, teacher. Okay, so guys, those are another functions that the imperative has. Imperatives are, are, used, are used in order to give orders, are commands, los famosos comandos, in order to give warnings or prohibition, prohibiciones, okay, prohibitions. Uh, it's in order to use advices, okay, consejos, uh, instructions and requests, okay. Esos son básicamente los usos de los imperatives. You already know about all of these, but this is just a review. Let's see. We have an example here. Um, let me see who, Lisette, Lisette, could you please help me to read this example? Lisette? Sorry, which which one? This one. Okay. Read this chart and check every uh, fill in a report about the defective piece. Unplug this card and connect the blue one and verify the oil level. Good job. So those are like instructions that are given, okay? And the, the one that you will follow. And this is one example of how you use the imperatives. Tomorrow we will have another practice about the imperatives, which is this one, okay, this. And we will continue working in another topic. We are not going to be getting too much time on this and the imperatives because you already know them and you use them very good. Yo escuché que los usaron super good al momento que me hicieron la presentación. 
Just as a reminder, los imperatives no tienen sujeto, okay? Just as a reminder, guys. So next class, so on Monday, sorry, on Monday, we will have like a kind of review about this, okay? About the imperatives. Um, yes, basically about the imperatives and about a vocabulary practice, okay? So I would like to know if you might be having any questions so far. Este, este, hoy es último día para enviar las tareas o... Um, no, no, no. Uh, we have a new date, which is every single uh, Tuesday, every single Tuesday before midnight. Cada martes antes de la medianoche porque nosotros iniciamos un, un miércoles. Entonces yeah. miércoles iniciamos semana, quiere decir que martes es cuando terminamos. Y martes sí tenemos que entregar todas las tareas de los cinco días. Las, ajá, las cinco tareas. Exacto, lo que tenemos que ir haciendo es que poniéndonos al día de irlas haciendo día por día para que no, nos, no se nos acumulen mucho, ¿verdad? Yeah. Si tienen preguntas Thank o inconvenientes al respecto, me dicen. Me dicen, guys. You're welcome. Ok, voy a pasar la lista rapidito, guys, and I hope you have an amazing night. Uh, see you on Monday and I hope you have a happy weekend, ok? Uh, Estela Mabel, can you stay with me today? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Estela. Ok, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Yes, teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Judy Alexandra Flores Parada. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Thank you. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Dulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Bye. Jonathan, bye. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Bye guys, take care. Um, Julio uh, César nice Ramírez. Weekend. Hi, happy weekend. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Present. Luis Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher, have a good night. Have a good night. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Linda Magali García Montoya. Kevin Alexander Aguilar Bonilla. Kenny Lizeth Cuer de Barrientos. Carla Elizabeth Escobar Esquivel. Ok, let's see. A ti me la mencioné. No sé si tal vez. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Es que a veces se me pasa a alguien, díganme, guys. Ok, so, ok. Vamos a ver. Uh, Mabel, hello, hello, Mabel. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. So tired, but I'm fine. I'm tired. Oh, I understand. Yeah. And I'm sorry to hear what that you're you, tired. I'm a little bit tired as well, but I'm ready. I'm ready to finish in the, 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 the night, right? The class and everything. Yeah. But thank you for, letting, for asking me, Mabel. Um, 
Well, this space is created, as you know, in order to, to know about more about your learning process, okay? About the advices, the tips that I can give you, uh, Mabel, in case you need them in order to continue improving your English skills. I know you are so good at this. At this, I know you have been practicing before because it is noticeable, but that's what I, I am here in, in order to see if there is something that I can do in order to con in order for you to continue improving. If there is any skill that is difficult for you, maybe reading, maybe listening, uh, writing, etc. If there is a topic in which you would like to get more practice or more reinforcement, I can happily assist you with this. Any comment, any feedback? Uh, we are open to this so we can continue improving the class, Marvin. So the stage is yours and tell me, what can I do for you? <laughs> Thank you, teacher, but I need to learn more. I don't know everything <laughs> and um, I, I love your class. Really and great. Thank you. Yes, I love to practice. You you do uh, do us we we practice a lot of in the class. It's it's very important to me and to everyone, I I think. Um I don't understand the class to yesterday, but because I don't I don't I can't to 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 be a hundred percent yes a hundred percent like participating don't worry I know yeah. I know your point you already talked to me about this and I understand of it you know that you can count on me and today we made a review did you understand it a little bit more I I can't but I I just do it We'll do it uh, in the weekend because I saw now the the class and I didn't understand everything. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, um, I needed to learn to to learn about this 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 class. In my best yes, to be honest, I, with I, you, this topic is a little bit complicated. You're right. I mean, it's not super easy no i mean it's not difficult but it's a little bit complicated uh to understand it because it's a part of the grammar uh that we need to we need to practice it and throughout the time you will do it and i'm sorry that i interrupted mabel go go <laughs> no, no 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 don't worry thank you uh so i have so one question because I understand you say uh, that this this uh, <laughs> this is a sentence or clause uh, they are a uh, phrases uh, don't don't change don't change or we can change depend of the case. Mm. Like if they can change, they can be changed. Mm, not really. They should be like at the beginning for functioning as a subject. They cannot change. Mm. Uh huh. They cannot change. But the subject. Uh huh. I mean the whole the whole clause that is the subject. The whole clause. What I'm doing right now is that I'm trying to look for a video and I will share them with you so we can internalize this topic and let me get a second and I will share the screen so we can go ahead and 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 check it out one second okay let me get a second so I I don't know if that's one of the
Mm, I'm sorry, I was watching a video about what closes, but it didn't convince me. I will continue looking for a video that explains to you, like give you more examples. Because what happens okay. is that there are a lot of type of, of, of clauses and one of them is what clauses. This is, oh my God, the 1% out of the 100% that are missing for clauses. There are a lot of clauses. So <laughs> let me get a second. I'm just trying to present the slide about clauses here. Let me share it. And I will try to find a video so that will be complementing the, the learning that we have already, okay? And I will share it in, in the whole group. So basically okay. this, this, the one that is, let me go ahead and uh, highlight it. This one, is exactly yep. the, the noun clause that we're talking about, right? Which is the what clause, a specific what clause. But this clause, it is called, right? Noun clause. Why noun clause? Because at the end, even though this is a phrase, right? Even though it has a pronoun or a subject, let's say this is a subject, I, but at the end, let's put it as a pronoun. It has a verb, okay, and it has what? At the end, this is a clause, okay? And it's not a sentence. It's not a sentence because it doesn't come be a full meaning, a full message. No le da usted un mensaje completo. If I say lo que yo quería, what I wanted. Teacher, what I wanted, what? Lo que usted quería, ajá, uh -huh. continúe hablando, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't give you a full message. Mm -hmm. That's why it is called a clause. Es una cláusula, es parte de otra, de otra parte de esa misma oración. So that's why it is not a sentence. So mm -hmm. that specific clause is functioning as a noun. Why as a noun? Because a noun can serve as a subject, right? Usted sabe que los nombres son sujetos. So that is mm -hmm. a noun. And why a noun? Because what I wanted, eso de lo que yo quería, es algo. Y eso puede ser una idea de lo que usted quería. And I explained this before. Dice, what I wanted was something to live in up the garden. What I wanted, lo que yo quería, era un deseo que yo tenía en the past, right? Y mi deseo era renovar mi jardín para que fuera más iluminado. So mm -hmm. it can be living up, fuera un poco más animado, le diera vida. Entonces, mm -hmm. ese pensamiento, ese wish, ese deseo que yo tenía es what I wanted. Entonces, mm -hmm. como es un deseo, una idea, un pensamiento, por eso se convierte en un nombre. Está abstracto ahí, Mabel, pero al final es un nombre. Entonces, this is what I wanted. Esa idea o ese pensamiento es lo que yo quería. What I wanted, right? So that's why esto se, se dice que es un noun phrase. Y es un noun phrase que está functioning or it is acting as a subject. Porque es de lo que se está hablando en la oración. Yo estoy hablando de lo que yo quería. ¿Y qué digo de lo que yo quería? que era algo para animar el jardín. Entonces acá, como usted puede ver, es un poco complicado, yo lo sé, pero por ejemplo, otro ejemplo de cómo puede ser un sujeto que no es regularmente como los demás. Um, smoking every day is dangerous. Smoking every day is dangerous. ¿De qué estoy hablando? De que smoking every day, fumar todos los días, es peligroso, right? So ahí mm -hmm. es la idea. Smoking every day. Mm -hmm. Aunque usted no lo vea como un nombre, pero es un nombre que está actuando al final mm -hmm. como un sujeto, ¿verdad? Porque estoy mm -hmm. hablando de esa idea. So it is the same here. I'm talking about what I wanted, right? Siempre el, ese close se refiere a algo más 
que probablemente anteriormente se dijo. O que si yo lo pongo en el contexto, it makes sense, right? Entonces, I'm talking about this and it is function, functioning as a subject. Usually, almost all the time, not all the time, um, you have a verb to be form. For example, this. This is in verb to be, but it's in past, right? Because I'm describing or I'm giving more information about this subject. What I wanted was mm -hmm. something to live in up the garden. Okay? So, there are many... Uh, I mean, those noun clauses, you can even find them in any other paragraph or any other part of the of the sentence. I mean, and, and in any other part of the paragraph. Let me show it to you. Not only at the beginning. And this is shown, this is shown here. One second. This is shown here. Here is at the beginning, look. This is in the middle, and this is in the middle. Not necessary is at the beginning, but at the end, you know that this is a whole sentence. Es una oración super grande, probablemente de mí sí. It's a conversation. Pero dentro de esa conversación, we have more sentences. Tenemos varias oraciones, no solamente una. We've only got this small bookcase. Tenemos one, uh, one sentence. Uh -huh. Will that will that do? Es una pregunta. No. Was I want, was looking for? Eh, tenemos tres oraciones en todo eso. Entonces, al final, esas tres oraciones están por separados. Y esta, la que contiene la cláusula, es una oración. Y el what I was looking for es el sujeto de esa oración. What I was looking for was something much bigger and stronger. Lo que yo andaba buscando era algo, era algo más grande y más fuerte. Lo que yo andaba buscando, right? So, también funciona para resaltar ciertas cosas, para hacer emphasis, all right? Which is the other rule, to emphasize, to emphasize. And here we have this example. What makes me really angry is the claim that fox hunting is a traditional sport. Es como que usted en la conversation you said, lo que más me enojó es, dice usted, y luego se explica lo que más le enojó, o lo que más me hizo feliz este día es esto. Okay, so those are the famous what clauses. And there are more type of clauses, <laughs> more. But this is one of them, right? It is probably mm -hmm. one of the easiest one. But I believe that we bring, I mean, we brought this topic to a star with the other classes because they are missing a lot. And at the end, okay. those what clauses, remember, can be used in any instruction, in any structure, not only in the verb to be, but also we can use them in another um, structure, right? In another tense, in another structure, for example, present continuous. Uh, what I will do is to sleep. Uh, I, I don't remember what was the example that Christian uh, did. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, he provides provided an example not with verb to be, but with present continuous. But I don't, re I don't remember, to be honest with you. <laughs> but just to make sure, uh, those what clauses uh, are not used just only in the verb to be, but we can use them in another structure. But the most common one is the verb to be, the most common one. But whenever you see mm -hmm. this in the middle of a sentence, that is a close. So at the end, I don't know if you remember about the closes that we explained before. We explained before about the if closes, the conditionals. No sé si se recuerda de las que estábamos hablando el curso pasado. Conditionals, when I said, if you, if it is raining, you get wet. Son las cláusulas de condiciones. Okay, so we said 
that there is a dependent and independent clause, right? Creo yo que ahí es donde partimos con las clauses. Ese era un tipo de cláusula también. Este es otro tipo de cláusula. Y si usted se fija, if I say what I want is, eso es dependent clause. Esa es la dependiente. Igual que el otro que decíamos, if I go out, if I go out, esa era la dependent. Porque depende de la otra. Entonces, uh -huh. es un tipo de cláusula. It doesn't make sense if you have it alone. But if you have it with the other rest of the sentence, of the sentence, it makes sense, right? So I know it's a little bit complicated at the beginning, Mabel, but with time, I mean, with the time, you will be able to understand it and with practice as well. Maybe next course uh, or next model, we will continue studying the, that closest. Because if you see imperatives, this is the second time that we started imperatives. So the more that we practice, sure. the more that we mention them, at the end you internalize every single topic. So we try to do so because at the end there's no way that we can give you a topic, the whole topic just in one time, you will be getting confused, right? So we're constantly practicing, we're con constantly giving you the topics, right? Sometimes as a review or sometimes we add uh, more complicated things or more complicated uses to the topic. So at the end, you understand it. I hope and I know that we will continue practicing this topic about the what close, but I will continue looking for a video that can help you to practice it more, right? Because I know you are not the only one that has this doubt or that that, that hasn't uh, got in 100% this topic. So I know, Mabel, and I thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you, too. You're welcome, Mabel. But I would like to know You're if welcome. besides this, there might be another topic or anything that I can do, Mabel, for you. I will be more than happy. No. Um, I I have problem with this, uh, with this one, but um, I didn't remember to see in another classes. <laughs> ah, no, this no, is the first with, time, maybe, in, right? I think I don't remember. I don't remember. No, no, no. In your class, mm -hmm. yes, but I don't remember to study before this ah, okay. this one in in itka i don't remember that <laughs> really did you study at itka i i don't remember yes i, I studied ah, at itka okay. uh, but i don't remember this this one mm -hmm. <laughs> as i said before I the reason because... why it is because it is a little bit advanced when sometimes it is not taught in the regular topics even though you learned it unconsciously, but it is not, sometimes it is not placed as one topic, the what closes, but there are more closes um, that yes, they are taught in, in a separate way, right? But this one in a specifically something, sometimes is a little bit difficult for us to teach it as a, as individual topic. Maybe that was the reason. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's interesting because yes, it's, it's, interesting. it's it's something new. Phrases one was Thank one of my that. favorites. Phrases one, and I mean the noun clause, adjectives clause, adverbial clause. There are a lot of type of clauses. Those type of clause were <laughs> one of my favorites at the university in gra uh, in grammar in grammar. I remember. I really mm -hmm. love this topic. And it's, a, it's very challenging. So I understand, Mamela. I understand how you feel. But um, don't hesitate to send me a WhatsApp or to let me know if you have any question. I will be more than happy to assist you and to help you, OK? Yeah. Thank you. You're I'm going welcome. to do it if I need it. Thank you, Mabel, and thank you very much for your thank time. You. I don't know if you might be having any other questions so far or anything else I can do. No. No. Okay. For the moment, Great. this one. 
I hope you have a wonderful uh, weekend then, and I hope that you rest a lot, okay? Nice to hear you, Mabel. Thank you. And nice to talk to you. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.